Hi, uh, my name is uh, Christian, and welcome to ASF News. Uh, today's newscast will be about uh, Ukraine. Okay, so today's mm-hmm. in right now in Ukraine, there's uh, a whole mm-hmm. ass war going on, and here we're now. I mean, I'm speaking my mind. Uh, also, some facts personally from my, you know, not opinion, some opinions, some facts, but you know, we try to stay honest. Um, so, Ukraine and Russia are at war. The United States and the UN do not want to enter the war yet, but uh, Russia already has China on its side, and that means nuclear warfare could be possible, minus the Geneva Convention, which prevents a nuclear war. But we don't know yet because right now he's commi- uh, Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, is committing so many war crimes at once. It's unbelievable. Now, what the United States has done in response is sent drones, uh, 20 million rounds of ammunition, 800 anti-aircraft uh, missiles. It, it sent its, and to take down, and in, it has not declared a no-fly zone. A no-fly zone means enemy planes and helicopters cannot fly over that country. Basically, they have uh, a bunch of anti-aircraft. Uh, they have the Javelin, which was sent over there by America. It's it's supplied by the U.S., of course. And then they have their own version called the Stinger. It's almost the exact same. It's a ground-to-air missile. Uh, just a bam. Um, in other news, we have President Biden finally making a, a uh, kind of like a little change. Uh, gas prices still continue to rise due to inflation. Um, and that should be about it. Now, our, if for those older people who have driven in 2008, back in 2008, those were the highest gas prices anyone has ever seen. And yeah, so... We're hoping for the best. We're hoping that we get something else. Maybe something will pass. As a driver myself, being, I mean, I'm 16, but as a driver myself, I hate paying for gas. But I feel bad for those people who pay more. Um, yeah, it's all going to get better soon. Uh, but the United States has officially cut off all oil reserves or all oil transport towards the uh, Russia because of the war, meaning the United States is finally, you know, uh, putting its foot down, saying no more oil if you're going to continue hurting these fine people. Um, so, I guess all I have to say is God bless the fighters of the Ukraine homelands. Uh, you're in our thoughts and prayers. Thank you. This is the uh, SAF News. Another one coming tomorrow.